we are at lesson 97 i cannot like i am very very grateful to god because this far we have come it only can be god since lesson one and now this is lesson 97 and by the way the best thing is today is the last day of november the last day of november guys and we are doing lesson 97. So today I will give you two videos. We'll do lesson 97 and we'll do lesson 98. And then now tomorrow, the last day, the first day of December, I will do lesson 98, 99 and lesson 100. And finally, I can close that chapter of trying to train you. And now you don't, when I say my mentorship is $400, you don't start complaining. Oh, you are too expensive. Of course, with a hundred lessons, it means that I have really, really tried to help those who can't afford my mentorship program. One thing you need to understand, guys, is that I have a physical class in Kenya. So if you would want to attend that class and you're not in Kenya, the class is happening next week on the 4th of December. That is the class that we are about to do. And that class for me, I feel the, what God was trying to tell me is the class of mercy. I will do a detailed video on the month of December. For me, I feel like God is releasing a lot of mercy. Why? This is the last month of the year. And many are the people who have not, many people have not achieved what they would have wanted. If you go to your watch list, at, to your list of the things that you wanted, 2023 majority, maybe you have not achieved. But God is saying the month of December is the month of mercy, where I will show mercy to everyone. So for me, I feel that class, it's actually mercy. Why? Because those who will be attending that class, majority of them, they just need mercy in their life. For, for some reason, they just need to encounter God's mercy. These are people who have felt like God is unfair, like God has not been hearing them. And for me, I feel like if you if you connect with the month of December, which is the month of mercy, let me tell you, your things will start working for good and what you would have thought you would have achieved in in 11 months god can still do it in the month of december so the class of december is the class of mercy and this is the time we really need a lot of mercy from god why because you can imagine you are ending the year and that's the month that many accidents happen many family breaks many things happens in the kingdom of darkness we need mercy to close the to to to, to move to the next year 2024 so we need god's mercy in every way in our career in our in our families in our relationships in everything that we need in our faith we need god's mercy so to come to that class next week on monday it will be in kiambu town if you're in Kenya, welcome. Kikinga House Annex, eighth floor. Come. If you want to pay during that day, you are welcome. You can come and pay. If you want to pay now and then I add you to the group, you can pay now. If you want to, to do it online, you can buy the course. It's online. It's recorded. It is in forms of videos and it is 12 modules. Thank you so much. Let's go into the lesson 97. The reason why I picked this uh, topic is because I get so many questions on when to when to buy the market, when is the right time to buy. Some people will tell you, I find myself selling and I get profit, but when I, I attempt to buy, I lose money in the market. So I feel like uh, this is a very good topic to come and discuss. When do you buy? And I will tell you three things. Note, these are the some of the things I talk in detail, in detail, guys. There are three things you need to note. For you to know how to buy, first of all, you need to know double bottom like I don't know. Because double bottom pattern gives us an entry for buy. So the first thing that you need to know is how to do, as in you know the all, everything about double bottom. We can check here with you guys about a double bottom and you'll see that Knowing that market is a double bottom requires a lot of knowledge. And that's why in my mentorship, in my mentorship course, I really gives you uh so there's a model where I call it the shifting double bottom, the shifting double top, the shifting, like the double bottoms keep shifting, and you need to know that. So you need to really understand the double bottom. Number two, you need to understand if you want to buy, you need to understand. Uh, you need to understand the cup and handle. So cup and handle. Cup and handle is a failed double top. 
So anytime you find you have a, a, a double top, that double top can cha change to a cup and handle fill double top. And the other thing that you need to know, number three, is ranging. Not even ranging. Let me not even give you that because that one is in my it's in my course. I will I want to give you understanding CRB strategy. Anytime you want to buy, some resistance has to be broken. Why? Because if buyers are strong, they need to break a resistance. So these are the three things that you need to understand. Double bottom strategy, cup and handle strategy, and CRB strategy. If you want to know when to buy, kindly master these three things and you'll be able to execute your buy trades. Let me tell you, first of all, you'll be so confident. You know, when you try to mix everything, that's why we lose we lose focus. So I want you the month of December, as we get into the month of December, I want you to really focus on the double bottom, cup and handle and CRB strategy. Anytime you see a double bottom, put all your effort in. I'm not saying if you see a double top, don't trade it, but try to really focus on double bottoms because first you need to improve your act of buying before you improve the act of selling. So we have a double bottom cup and handle and CRB strategy. So let's start with the double bottom. The double bottom is a market that has the first attempt, the neckline, second attempt, and then you enter. So you need to ask yourself, for me to trade a double bottom effectively, what are some of the things that I need to know? And guys, let me tell you, these are some of the things that you need to really put down in your book. Number one, you need to know is my double bottom, double bottom on on uptrend. Is my double bottom on uptrend or downtrend? Is my double bottom or uptrend or downtrend? Number two, does it have does it have RBS? Note RBS strategy is only for the mentorship program. And that's the reason for you even to buy that course so that you can learn a whole module of RBS. Notice if you don't have RBS, you are like you are limited to trade the double bottom. Does it have RBS? Um, number three, does it have OPT? You, does it have OPT? You remember I train OPT here guys and OPT means one pattern time one pattern in one time frame so there are some strategies that I'll give for free there are others that it won't be for free and you have to just you have to accept so the double bottom is it on an uptrend or downtrend I have trained here and I've told you double bottoms on a down on a downtrend like this one it is hard to trade it why the market has been coming from a from above going down. So this is a downtrend and you're trying to reverse the market. But a double bottom that is on a on an uptrend, the market comes here and then comes like this. So this is a double bottom. So there's a difference. So you need first to be aware which double bottom really works for you. This video, I'm just giving you a hands up. We won't do much in the, this video is just to uh, to give you details. So you need first to ask yourself, how do I trade a double bottom that is going on a downtrend? And how do I trade a double bottom that is going on an uptrend? Knowing this has elevated your skill. Number two, does it have RBS? The double bottom with RBS, that one, you, you can't know if you're not my student. So let's leave that alone. Number three, does it have OPT? You notice when we talk of OPT is, is this, if this is a daily time frame, if this is daily time frame, daily time frame, OPT means this double bottom, if I flip on the weekly, if I go here and I flip on the weekly, how is my weekly double, is, is weekly time frame having the same double bottom? So you need to ask yourself, yes, I have traded, um, I have traded um, on the time. I have traded on the daily and I have seen a double bottom. How do I trade? What if the double bottom does not have OPT? It is on the weekly, it is on the daily, it is on the four hour. How do I go about it? You see, these are some of the questions you ask even before you trade. So you have to ask yourself, this 
particular double bottom, is it on uptrend or downtrend? Does it have RBA? So if you are not my student, like I've said, that one, leave it alone. Only students who know RBS what it is. Number three, does it have OPT? I have taught OPT. And you know OPT is us. Like I posted that video on TikTok and it has 370,000 views. 300 people, 300,000 people have watched that strategy. It means it is very important. So when I give it for free, I am not giving something that is not valuable. OPT has so much value in it. And I believe not only beginners who are watching that video, even advanced traders, they are able to watch OPT strategy and they are able to apply and make money with it. So when I give OPT, it was directly from the Holy Spirit. Why? I would have retained it for my students. But I said, let me give something free to my online and free students here on YouTube. So... When you come to OPT, is it on the weekly? Is this double bottom on the weekly or it's only on the daily? So if it's on the daily, it is very, very strong double bottom. If it appears on the daily and also on the weekly, it can't be powerful. It is weak. And how now, how do you trade a weak double bottom? That is a question. How do you trade a weak double bottom? How do you trade a strong double bottom because there's a difference between trading a weak double bottom and a strong double bottom and that is a whole module I will do I will do that whole module like a bonus lesson in my mentorship program now after you have known about does it have RBS the next thing is is the double bottom an obstacle we have to know which pattern is it pattern one is it p1 P2 or P3? Because we need to understand, is this double bottom an obstacle or is the first pattern? If it is the first pattern, you already know first pattern don't really move well. Why? Because they will be, uh, they will have a pattern too, which is an obstacle pattern. So when you see your double bottom, you have to ask yourself, is this double bottom P1, P2, P3, P4? Which pattern is it? Is it the pattern one? Because if your double bottom that you're trading is the first pattern, trust me, it will be a struggling double bottom, even if it has all the above. Why? Because the market makers will not use pattern one to take the market. They won't confuse you in between. You see, now you have to understand that this, this double bottom, is it a swing double bottom? Is it a swing trade? Is it a swing trade? And if it's a swing trade, it has to be from monthly. Because my, um, patterns that comes from daily, four hour, and weekly, they tend to waver a lot. But a double bottom that comes from the monthly tends to finish because it's a swing trade. So with these five things, you need to ask yourself, how is my double bottom? Can you see it's a whole lot? Now let's go to cup and handle. I don't like going into details about cup and handle, but you need to ask yourself, the cup and handle that I'm trading, because cup and handle mostly is a double top that fails and gives you a cup and handle. That's what a cup and handle is all about. So the only way to learn cup and handle, either you go on YouTube for free and such, or you pay for my mentorship or you buy my course. There is no way I can start explaining cup and handle, but eventually cup and handle is a failed double top. So if you want to look for buy opportunity, the question is, how do I move from the double top to a cup and handle? It is very simple, and I have illustrated this in my modules. Number three, CRB strategy. If I want to buy, anytime I want to buy, I need to see a market that maybe it has been buying, buying. The market is retracing. For me, I want to see what resistance have they broken so that I can enter back a buy. So for me, my buy depends on CRB, current resistance break. So I don't want to enter a market because it was an uptrend. And this is what the mistake we do. Because it's an uptrend like this, you can see the, the market here has broken a resistance. And then we assume because the market will come down, we will start placing our, our buy trade once this activation is done. And maybe you get a bullish end gap. That's not how to trade a buy. A buy, you trade it once a resistance is broken. If you want to be very accurate, 
let a resistance break so that you can enter your buy with confidence. Anytime a resistance is not breaking, even if you want to buy, it will not be a good trade. You can have even such, such a thing, and then you have a marubozu candle, and that marubozu candle does not break this resistance, like a very huge green candle, and you think it is an indication for you to buy. But guess what? The market fails to buy because the power of buying relies on breaking of resistance. So, and then I, I think I will, I will teach this. Either I have this part one, part two, because I don't want the whole video to be on this alone. I can have this on part two so that you can continue watching it. Now, having that double bottom cup and handle CSB, you have CRBs. You have seen double bottom has five things to check. Cap and handle has almost five things to check. CRB has five things to check. It's just that I cannot tell everything here. We can never finish. So you open your daily time frame. You want to buy. You find a very good double bottom. Guys, can you notice that double bottom? So identifying double bottom is never a problem to many traders because they can identify a double bottom. They can look at the chart and see I have a double bottom. And I've told you, anytime you see a double bottom, the next question you should ask yourself, is this double bottom on an uptrend or downtrend? On an uptrend or downtrend? So those are some of the questions. And I need you to go and write these rules. So number one, once you spot a double bottom, you have to ask yourself, is it on an uptrend or a downtrend? Because if it's on an uptrend, it's easier to trade. If it's on a downtrend, it will be hard to trade. So you are being told that this double bottom, it's easy to trade. Why? It's on an uptrend. And uptrend pushes buy. And double bottom is for buy. And the double bottom is on an uptrend. So you check it's on an uptrend. The second thing that you want to check, does it have RBS? This market has no RBS. So this is a warning, guys. This is a warning. And anytime the market does not have RBS, you do not trade it the same way with a market with RBS. Anytime the market does not have RBS, it is struggles to buy. Anytime the market does not have RBS, the market can be on an uptrend, we don't refuse. But the fact that we do not have RBS, it shows you that sellers are very, very strong pushing this market down. Now, the third thing that we need to check, is this double bottom only on daily? Does it have OPT, one pattern on one time frame? So I'll flip on weekly. And guys, I want you to tell me, do you think we have a double bottom on the weekly? And the question is, yes, we have. Yes, the double bottom is not on this area, but where on the weekly is, we still have a double bottom, meaning this double bottom is weak because it is on the daily, and it is on the weekly, meaning it is a week. So when you have a double bottom on the weekly, your entry cannot be on the daily. So even if you come here on the daily and you get an entry, of course, when you use WBB, when you use WBB. So what you do most of the time, when you find a, a weak double bottom and market is telling you to buy, you are skeptical, you are alert, you don't place a buy, uh, with haste, like you are very alert and collected. So this market will give you WBB. So we are thinking, if it's WBB, I want the market to give me to break this box. But you see, because it's on the weekly, there's no way I can enter. So you are monitoring this trade bit by bit. So you have to know, even if it breaks here, it's not time to enter. Why? Because I have to wait for the weekly candle to close for me to re-enter by. So if you don't know how to trade a weak double bottom, again, it's a problem. For me, I know how to trade a weak double bottom. You have to understand a weak double bottom is a result of a double bottom that is on two time frames. It can either be on the monthly and also on the weekly. It can be on the weekly and also on the daily. It can be on the daily and also on the four hour, making it very weak. So how do you trade a weak double bottom? So when you, when you, you just observe it and I will give this in more details in lessons to come. So as we wait for the double bottom on the daily to break, our agenda is not even to enter a buy. Why? We know this double bottom. One, it is has no RBS, making it weak. Also, it is on the weekly, making it weak. So once we get an entry, we just go to four hour and ask ourselves, 
why would the market tell us in advance it was weak? Because you're not in a rush. Many people who don't know all these things, what will they do? They'll come and place their buy trade. So we come, we go to four hour. When you go to this four hour, when you go to this four hour, we find, we find our four hour has a double top. This double top is now what we pay attention. And that's how you trade a weak double bottom. Anytime you have a weak double bottom, you will want to flip to a double top. Why? Because if the market is telling you, I am weak, don't buy me. What is the next thing? Go and look for a double top. So when we check this double top and we find the double top, is it on the daily? Because we'll still use the same thing. And this double top, which uh, it's on the downtrend. So it will be easier to trade on a sell. And then the next thing, is it on the weekly or on the daily? No, it's not on the daily. So it's giving us confidence to sell it. You see? Now we mark our half. We mark our half. And you're thinking if we sell, if we get a sell opportunity, we are trading it up to there. We are trading up to there. Notice, immediately you are told to buy it they activated a double top. The reason why they activated a buy, anyone who doesn't know a weak double top, a double bottom, how to trade it, they'll be trapped on that. So you are here, you have your double top. Again, if only you know about double top and you don't know that the double top can either give you a complete double top or it can give you a cup and handle. Is that now it's not in your dictionary? Again, you are planning to fail. So this double top can give you a complete, a complete double top. It can give you a double top or it can give you a cup and handle. It can give you a cup and handle. You see? It can give you a cup and handle. So when you are here, it, this is not the time to to, to, to be biased because I have been biased in the market and you know what has that has cost, has really cost me. So when I check on this double top and because it's not on any other time frame, it is very strong. So what the banks do in this case, they will give you a pattern that can do two things. One pattern can buy, the other one can sell. So it's you to know, how do I know if a pattern buys? And that's why I'm saying, as much as you want to learn these things, you have to just say, December, I just want to focus on buying alone. I want to know everything about buying. So this is something that I have to tell you guys in advance. You have to know, how do I buy? How, how do buyers are tricked? Which patterns trick us? Which patterns make us not to buy and start selling? And this is one of them, selling. So, you know, you need to understand if I have to sell, I need to see CSB, current support break. You see, and CSB is for the double top. If I need to buy, the market needs to violate the double top to give me a cup and handle. Guys, I hope this lesson will be helpful to you. If I need to, if I need to buy, the market has to violate here. So, um, here, you're very alert. These are not the time to be, when you're de dealing with a weak double bottom, it's about being alert. So the market, we start seeing the market going down, going down. We have not entered yet. And the market give us our current support, but it has not broken yet. So we have our current support and we are saying, it's either they break this current support or they break our first attempt. So here it's a, battle or whoever wins so you cannot be you cannot be what you cannot be biased so let's see what happens so the market comes up and breaks the first attempt and guys let me tell you if you don't know what is happening if you don't know what is happening you'll be blinded by this double top 
because you'll start saying they have made another double top. They have made another double top. So the weak double bottom that was both on weekly and daily has been supported on four hour and they have supported that it with a new pattern, which is a couple hundred. And what they are telling you is that we can buy up to the half. So they are telling you we can buy up to the half. So allow us to get to the half. Can you see? Allow us to get to the half. So anytime, if you don't know how to trade a four hour, any, any distraction like this, you will spot it as a distraction. You say, oh, the market can make a double top. I don't want to enter. I already know how to trade this. This is an obstacle. And the obstacle, you have to know how to deal with an obstacle. That's a tutorial for another day. Trading obstacles. If you know how to trade obstacles, you'll be good. So we are entering up to there. That's how many pips? That's 118 pips. So we come up. The market gets into the obstacle. And of course, the banks know majority will close the trade. And what will they look? They'll be looking for sell opportunity because they have seen a double top. For you, you already know that this double top, the only way it can enter if it gets another CSB current support break. So I will hold on my buy unless they create a support and break it. I will exit and enter the sale. So it's either you, you lie on the side that has already given you a buy, then come out and wait for, for an entry. And that's what you have been doing. We cancel the right trade because you are fearing a pattern can come and activate. So a buy has confirmed, but a sell has not yet confirmed. So if you have a lot of knowing, if this sell gets in, I know how to close the trade. I already know. So let's see what happens. After that, the market comes down, comes down and retest. What are they doing? They are retesting the first attempt. They retest. If you have other buys orders, you can place those buy orders. Once they retest like that, now majority are waiting for the market to break that current support. You have to understand, if this current support is broken, this double top will work. So here, it's a place where you better be holding a buy than waiting the market to break. And this is where many people go wrong. They will close their buy trade and they fold their hands. They are waiting for sale opportunity. In this case, if you are just buying, you are alert. The obstacle can also be used. So how will the obstacle be used? If I see a red candle, I will close my buy trade and I will enter a sell up to half. And that's how you trade, guys, knowing when to buy knowing when to buy the next video i uh, will be doing when to sell and what happens guys after that the market gives you that big candle and they activate uh, and they they get to our take profit and they're almost finishing the distance and they do all that now the question is guys with all that is being in the state the fear that was here was about um, the fear that was about in this place. What was the fear here? The fear was for you to enter, to cancel the buy and start up, uh, getting in the, in the trade and waiting for sale, but the sale didn't come in. And you can see what has happened. The market goes up. Now, something that you don't know is that how is the double bottom on the daily? The double bottom that we were. This is the double bottom on the daily. That's what it looks like. The market has already, let me just delete this. The market has come up. It was considered a weak double bottom. And that's why I was finding it difficult. I was asking myself, every time I call a double bottom week, in fact, it goes up. It's because they use another pattern behind your back. So what made this double bottom go up was not this double bottom, was the cap and handle on four hour. So you find that the market has broken neck uh, the half and on the weekly time frame, we don't we are not using this double bottom on the daily. We are using this 
double bottom. So we have like two double bottoms. It's like a confusion and they are doing this to confuse you. And on the daily, if you check if half has been broken, even on the daily, half was broken. So majority don't know how to trade a double bottom that now has been given out and has broken half. They don't know. They do not know. They, in fact, they are not aware. So when the market breaks like this, majority, what do they do? They'll come and place their buy trades. So this trade does not mean it's not weak. The fact that you are told in the the you are told this trade is weak. You have to keep that in mind. So what they have done here, they have used the cup and handle to blind you all. They have used the cup and handle to blind you. And because they have blinded you enough, when you come back and you say, oh, the double bottom, I thought it's weak. Those strategies, they don't work. I will buy this double bottom. It will go to the neckline. And as you wait, the market goes back. You can see the market comes and hit your stop loss. So the market sell. Immediately you buy, the market comes and sell how many pips? 384 pips. So the question is, how would you have avoided here? And that's what we'll discuss in the next lesson. When to sell? Because people buy because they have been told to buy. People sell because they are told to sell. You can anticipate your buy trade and your sell trade. And with that, let me tell you, you will have a very soft way. Okay, so for this lesson, I just wanted to show you when to buy. Three things, double bottom, CRB, and cup and handle. And they will work together. They will always work together. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. The next lesson I am doing when to sell. Bye-bye. Love you. God bless.